we are hearing from Douglas there, Rangers will appeal against this 12-month transfer embargo that has been imposed upon them. But what now for the supporters? The owners, managers and players all move on. But for the fans, the wound, I'm sure, will be deeper. The Rangers Supporters Trust have accused the Scottish Football Association this morning of, or their judicial panel, that is, of trying to cripple their club as they consider a series of protests and boycotts about the 12-month transfer embargo that is now threatening any potential bid. They say protests may include one at Hamden Park on the day of the Scottish Cup final and a boycott of sponsors affiliated with the SFA, such as William Hill, who sponsor the Scottish Cup, and Vauxhall, who sponsor the national team. Well, we're joined now by John McMillan, who is the general secretary of the Rangers Supporters Association. Uh, John, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. How did you take last night's news? What was your reaction to it? Pretty devastating. Um, and I have to say, first and foremost, that I think the the SFA are operating double standards in their judgments of, of, of certain things that are going on in Scottish football at the moment. OK, what, what would be your example of that? Well, just let me start off by saying that we had the Celtic manager at a two-match ban, quite rightly, for his his, um, his, uh, his harangue against the referees recently. We also looked at a further ban, the possibility of a further ban for his carry-on at iBooks, uh, and decided that as he had spent half a game in the stand, no further action would be taken. Now, I believe I don't believe another Scottish manager, and someone may prove me wrong here, but any other Scottish manager has been treated in that way and yeah. have been sent to the stand and have been told no further action yeah, will be needed. I, I, I can see what you're saying, John, but this is on a different scale from that, isn't it? Yes, it is. But let me go on to let me go on to talk about the the, the problems with the sentences handed down by the SFA. Rules were broken, though, John, weren't they? I yes, mean, uh, no question about it. Ali McCoy himself has admitted that. No, no one can deny that rules are broken, right? <laughs> However, let, let me say the SFA, I understand, should be looking at, and I think it's in their rules and regulations, should be looking at who is a fit and fit proper person to own a club. Mr Regan um, has said that uh, Craig White is not one of these people, and it's only now that Rangers are getting published uh, are getting punished for it. Let me take you back to a, P a B uh, BBC TV program, Panorama program last year, where it quite clearly accused Craig White of various things at that yeah, time. Yeah, John, 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 just just want to talk to you about the what happened last night. I mean, what would you guys like to do now? We've heard from the Rangers Supporters Trust today. What about the Rangers Supporters Association, of whom you are the general secretary of? What will you guys be doing now in reaction to this? Well, we are, first of all, we want Mr. Vegan to come out with with a statement as to why he didn't investigate an investigation at the time that he knew about this way back last year, and why is it only coming forward now? And I think that's double standards from the SFA. We have yet to meet to decide what we will do or what we will recommend to our association. I, but I think that the the, the um, the sentences handed out are absolutely disgraceful. Should John? But, should some? Should some fingers be pointed closer to home, perhaps at previous owners, at other people at the club? I mean, this is going back a fair length of time now. The the, the way the club has been run. Yes, yeah. No, no one denies that uh, there's, there's problems in the Avengers side, and there has been. No, no one can deny that. But uh, all, all we're looking for is a level playing field, and I don't think we are getting that in Scotland just now. Certainly in Scotland just now, um, uh, when we look at other incidents that's happened, not, albeit not in the same scale as this, but the principle's the same. Yeah, John, I'm, if John Beattie, I'm, I'm not sure the principle is the same. W wouldn't you agree that the problem here is Rangers? They've brought shame on Scottish football. <laughs> John, no one has brought more shame in Scottish football than a Celtic manager, so let's okay, not talk okay, let's John, not that's about that... the bush. John, John McMillan, thanks very much for joining us. John, the General Secretary of the Rangers Supporters Association there, I can understand that uh, the emotions are running high yeah. just now, John, on, uh, yeah. you know, on the, the, the Rangers We're side of things. lots of texts in and we do want to hear from Rangers fans and, and other fans because I think there's some level-headedness needed here. Eight zero two nine.